Here's an important trading tip that you should know when it comes to the market structure. So if the price action is trending, we'll get a series of higher highs and higher lows in an uptrend, or a series of lower lows and lower highs in a downtrend. And if it's a range where we're bouncing between support and resistance, then we might even spot equal highs or equal lows. This is where many retail traders will get enticed and will look to jump in, feeling that everything is okay. But this is when a sweep of these levels can occur, followed by a reversal. So what do we do? Well, these types of liquidity grabs don't always occur, but if we spot this type of simple market behavior, then we can place our orders a bit differently in order to bet against the general crowd of traders. So instead of getting squeezed out because our stop loss was too tight and our entry was right on top of this obvious trend line, we could push our entry a little bit higher, which will help us with anticipating the potential liquidity grab. Also, we can wait to see if the momentum flips back after having spiked through one of these obvious levels before placing an order in the opposite direction. Naturally, this might be tough to do at first since you're doing the opposite of what typically has felt right, but this is usually how you can be on the better side of liquidity grabs and go against the general crowd of traders.